Hello, this is Julie from Love's Beginning with a post called Manufacturing Opposites. Only love is real and love alone heals. From the Way of Mastery, Part 2, The Way of Transformation by the Shanti Cristo Foundation. Think of what you believe you are. You believe you are a certain personality in a certain body having a set of experiences. You are fortunate in some ways to be as you are and unfortunate in others because of problems or challenges that you experience. This is the human view of a human. There are many versions of yourself in other worlds. In this world, all are you. Because you have a need to define yourself with qualities A, B, and C, the opposite of you, as you perceive your separate self, has to show up in another form in opposition to what you believe you represent. So when you are pitying your apparent opposite or feeling repulsed by another, you are denying yourself. I am that without judgment. If you insist on any particular quality as something you will and must have for yourself, you are manufacturing the appearance of the opposite. Remember, this is the illusion. It's a playground where you play with opposites. It's definitely not real, but it's giving you experiences that feel very real. You're here to learn to refer to the real in every moment instead of ping-ponging off the illusion and never seeing any deeper than that, than that. At this point, if you are not offended by South Park, and maybe even if you are, what a wonderful opportunity to dissolve the fictions you uphold through personal judgment, watch Grounded Vindaloop. It will confuse you enough to set you straight. And if you're listening to the audio version of this, um, it is, I'm looking this up, season 18, episode 7. Um, if you have Hulu, you can find it there. Okay, so continuing. <laughs> it will confuse you enough to set you straight. When you are caught up in the interplay of opposites, you are caught up in a struggle to hold on to or experience one and escape from or minimize or solve the other. Any way in which you are caught in this believable yet never real interplay of opposites strengthens both opposites. You can play the game here of pushing down one in one spot, but it will always pop up in another. That is why we do not encourage you to solve the problems of your world, unless that is truly what makes your heart sing. We encourage you to see how you manufacture the problems of your world through your perception of it. Remember this, if enacting a solution involves any degree of judgment, fear, or resistance, you're playing a game and inviting the opposite of your ideal to appear in some form. If, however, every moment of judgment, fear, or resistance is an opportunity to return to the awareness of who you are, then you're using those contracted states as the gifts they are. When you feel contraction, always take a moment to expand, to return to reality. Otherwise, you're just creating new and elaborate game levels. Are you enacting a story? Are you caught up in believing this story? The worst feeling stories are imbued with more lies. Let your intention be to see through all of the lies and tomfoolery now. If you need a story, if you need anything other than the deep peace of this moment, settle for a slightly more truthful one by taking the time to rest in expansion whenever you feel contraction. Eventually, the need for stories dissipates and disappears. Here is a game for you today. Notice your mind feverishly trying to explain and designate and categorize. When you designate disparate elements using the mind, see the design there? That's the blueprint for what is to come. Did you just decide to be limited and to be subject to forces you call negative? Be playful about it. Oh, there mind goes again. What an old habit. Let me take a moment to expand and remember what is really going on here. Wow, and there it goes again. I really appreciate this process of accepting healing for the mind whenever I observe an old pattern. 
You've played with energy a lot in this manner, thinking you have to figure things out, but it has always been optional. There is an allowing that doesn't feel like figuring things out. It's remembering of who you are and what you are, how stable and complete it is. There's nothing new you need to invent in terms of stories. Simply allow the remembrance. What feels better than feverish engagement with specifics? Does anything feel better? Invite yourself to be open to what might feel better than that. The energy of love is everywhere and every when. It's always available to you, and that is what feels better than the effort to figure out how to use more effort to control phenomena. Love alone heals. There is only one thing, and that one thing supports the experience of differentiation. Do you prefer differentiation in conflict or differentiation in harmony? Healing is realizing that there is no need for healing. It simply returns you to the remembrance of who you are. The healing only occurs on the level of perception. You are healed when you can see that the reality has always been health. The reality right now is health. And right now, when you stay there, in the awareness of that, you radiate healed perception. In other words, it seems as if things need to change, but in energetically accessing the changeless, you allow a reflection of that stability and harmony to appear in your world. It is our joy and part of our experience of expansion to assist you as you return to this very simple power of truth, as you radiate and share it in every now moment. Thanks for joining me.